show with another funny man. Oh, originally from Denver, Colorado. Been all over the country, all over the map. Give it up for the very funny, the one and only Justin. My favorite places to perform, man. Most crazy ass art. Some good shit. That one's a fucking stoner, stoner painting right there. Man with woman's face inside, pigeons inside of hat. A classic. Got Jane Lynch scratched in the face by a tiger over there. <laughs> yeah. We got this one, which I don't know if this one looks a little fogged in. <laughs> I know there's some art people in the room. This one looks like, like that project you had to do the next day at 10 a.m. You were up at 2, like, fuck, what am I going to do? <laughs> Pour some water colors on that bitch, see what happens. <laughs> I'm just kidding, I hope that person's not here. That's <laughs> anybody's art, I'm only kidding. <laughs> They're jokes, it's comedy, comedy! Socks, anybody still losing socks? <laughs> <Is it dryer? laughs> what is up with that? What's the deal with losing socks? It's 2013. <laughs> Can we get a system? Can we get these things under control? <laughs> The day I lost a dress sock, I wanted to think to myself, well, somebody's doing some fancy masturbating later. <laughs> 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 no toes. <laughs> Turn in the white toes. <laughs> yeah, that's gross. I'm sorry. I apologize to you guys. <laughs> Weed smokers, we got weed smokers in the house, right? My friends try to put me in rehab for weed, so they keep telling the same shitty stories over and over again. <laughs> That's a funny intervention, bro. Justin, you know why we brought you here? Yeah, we were gonna watch some like Deep Space Nine and eat some Cheetos, right? No. <laughs> You've been really blissful and calm lately. I just, I can't take it anymore. <laughs> All right, I guess I'll quit today. I was high the day and I was thinking to myself, you know, we don't use enough punctuation in our day-to-day -day conversation anymore. <laughs> you know what I mean? All we're left with now is period. That's the only one we got. You know, you win an argument, that's the bottom line, period. <laughs> I feel like there's a wide world of possibilities if we just started using more and more <laughs> punctuation. You know, first time a girlfriend drops that I love you, you could be like, I love you too, asterisk. <laughs> <laughs> why'd, you, why'd you say that asterisk? Well, to be honest with you, I said that because open parentheses want to have sex with you, close parentheses. <laughs> Question mark? <laughs> Try it out, people. It might work. I'm getting older, me and the wife are talking about having kids and it's saving it off. I was using the mind calendar with that past. <laughs> <laughs> the fucking world didn't end. We can't have kids, the world's gonna end. <laughs> <laughs> now the only argument I got is just what I got going for me. I'm a 32-year-old surfer doing comedy on a Tuesday night in a coffee shop. <laughs> <laughs> I can think to myself, what, what does a guy not got to do to not have kids? <laughs> <laughs> if I tried any harder, I'd be trying. <laughs> I'm not into that. <laughs> I kid, I love my wife. We'll do it. My wife's a, uh, my wife's what I like to call Minnesota mom. She messes up words a lot and shit. The funniest thing she ever did, uh, she was at a bar talking with a friend about what she, they were trading information about what shows they need to watch. 
And it was a loud bar in her defense. <laughs> but she was also drunk. <laughs> and I came in and she pulled me down. She said, Babe, remember this. We need to watch Battle Shark Antarctica. <laughs> 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 and I was like, Battlestar Galactica? No, Battlestar Antarctica. And all I could think to myself was, that sounds like a fucking billion times better show than Battlestar. <laughs> I watched the shit out of some Battlestar Antarctica. <laughs> it's all about compromise, man. We wanted a pet, she wanted a cat, I wanted a dog, we couldn't decide, so we got a fox. <laughs> <laughs> got me in the middle, people. I was laughing the other day because I went into a, uh, I was at the grocery store in the self-checkout, which, not to touch on that for too long, but what a fucking useless invention that is. <laughs> <laughs> it's the longest line of goddamn grocery store, there's always four idiots going, oh, tomato, I don't know. <laughs> And then there's one asshole going around all aggravated like, it's just these fucking buttons. Did you do the TV training, you fucking dick? <laughs> anyway, while I was standing in line, I saw this fucking cosmopolitan that said, on the front of it, I started laughing out loud because it said, 19 things your JJ wants to say to you. <laughs> and all I could think to myself is I just started picturing, I probably look like a crazy guy in the store, just started picturing a JJ like a haggard. Vagina like a cigarette in its mouth, like, hey, we gotta have a talk. <laughs> you know, stop putting shit in my goddamn mouth. Because <laughs> the every once in a while. Also, do you smell that? It's a little hot in here. Can we get a thong or something? <laughs> That's three of the 19 that I've come up with so far. <laughs> but, ladies, I'm gonna say one thing. Don't get a blue job, okay? <laughs> Be proud of your breasts. Jason said that we're all fucking ass men anyway. It don't matter. You know, you think one of the handfuls of waste. I saw, I saw this girl the other day with ginormous fake breasts. And all I could think to myself was, somebody's compensating for a tiny vagina. <laughs> I'm gonna get out of here, man. You guys are awesome. Thank you for coming out, South. Let's go, 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 let's go